Good evening guys, my name is Uldis and in this video I will show you how to create your first lab in EVE and how to connect the nodes. Ok, let's start. So the second button is add new lab. So give a name, UT lab 1, 2, 3, 4 for example. The version you can change number, author is UD. The information, so my video video lab. It is not mandatory, you can leave them empty. So enter the tasks, tasks you can uh, you can call out into the lab later if you wish to see what you have to do. So I copied some uh, scratching sets so what I wanna what I'm going to show you here. So about script timeout configuration I will tell you later when we are when we will speak in in other video about uh, node configuration exports. So alright uh, Eve brings me to the lab screen and let's start. So the first is in the corner add notes. So such way. Yeah. Or right click here and add notes. So I'm adding the note. Okay, it will be IOL for example. I wanna add the four notes and only IOL devices supporting the serial interfaces. So I'm changing that the serial interface card will be added in the four routers. So I'm saying to save and on the topology appears the four devices now all right so i wanna i wanna add uh, more notes and i'm saying to add and it will be vios for example switches and uh, they support up to 16 interfaces so i'm going to add two switches on the topology save done so we are ready to start to connect these nodes okay so very simple, very, very convenient and simple. Look at this. There is an orange, orange connector here. I'm just drag and drop. Yeah, so let's start from switches. I'm just drag and drop to another node which I want to connect and release. It will be 3 2 connected to 3 2. Save. Done. Next one. Drag and drop and <clears throat> I want to 3 3 to 3 3. Done. Cool, isn't it? So next one, uh, I want to connect serial interface R1, R2. So drag and drop and choose serial 01 to serial 01. If you will choose incorrect Ethernet, he will say, hey, mate, it is not possible. And uh, so we are going to serial 0 to serial 0. Done. So serial to serial. Serial to serial. OK, done. And let's go down. Connect, save, and save, and save. Done. Nice. How much time I spent on it? And look at this. This is amazing feature which we implemented here. I'm pressing my, holding my left button on the mouse and look at this. I'm drawing area and nodes are selected. The, this option selecting the nodes, look more. I'm, I'm holding my left button and moving the topology on the screen where you need. I can select only two nodes and move only two nodes. Cool, isn't it? So such way you are connected nodes, yeah, if sometimes, yeah, uh, something happens with this selection, the best one option if you selected nodes, just to press escape on your keyboard and that's it. So it is terminate selection and it's fine. When when we are selecting the nodes, you can manage this group. So I selected these nodes and I'm pressing right click on my mouse and you're going to see this is a group of devices. And you will start only selected nodes or stop selected, wipe selected, wipe is wiping NVRAM or even console to selected nodes. Console, this is a must console option, but it works very well only on Firefox. On the Chrome we have an issues, uh, not an Eve issues, but Chrome issues. And we are working to Internet Explorer to <clears throat> to get it working as well. So export uh, export uh, configurations will be another video and about these options. And so very simple how to create a lab and you saw how I did it. Uh, let's check another things. Um, the network, okay. 
this network is used for absolutely other purpose now so request is for example we need to connect some four or three nodes into the one like hub okay let's do IOL nodes and I would like to get three nodes all right and same say so we have another three nodes on the screen but I need to connect these guys to the one network in this case I am using the network option here or right click network so add nodes on network it is absolutely the same what is here all right so I'm adding a network and I'm and the bridge will be the correct choice so it works like a way switch or way hub it's, it doesn't matter how you will name it and I'm saying save and now on the topology appeared this switch and now we can start to connect look at this connect connect and connect such way so you can connect more than uh, more than three like let me show you uh, some INA lab for example mm, full set I believe advanced touch basic IP no somewhere it's a full scale look at this the hub is used here and connecting 20 nodes which are CSRs cool isn't it so bridge this bridge supports spawning tree and dot one queue so if you have configured dot one queue interfaces here so they, they are working like in a VLAN like in the real switch so r1 dot one queue then VLAN will, will, will speak with r11 if they configure it in VLAN then so nice um, let's go back to our test lab once we created the lab the other functions will start to work if you are connect uh, clicking on a nodes and you can see we just added these nodes and now you can you can manage all nodes here to assign the correct and right right uh, image if you need yeah so and I'm going to say it will be SV1 and it will be SV2. Yeah, SV2. Here you can manage how many interfaces will be or serial interfaces. You can see that these three nodes has not serial interfaces. I can manage them here. Uh, we can change. Uh, we can change uh, icon which will be shown on the screen. Okay so such way about co startup configuration so this will be a special video so actions you can start from here stop from here erase from here export from here the configuration um, interfaces you can see which interfaces are used and connected that's very good for good good thing right the same one you can do here from a right click and checking here yeah, it's the same functions you will see which so you can see that e 0 is connected to the V switch right right that uh, one very interesting request I saw today in a forum that uh, <laughs> people complained that the hen, uh, juniper guys complained that they cannot use a loop loop uh, loop connection to the node not true I, let me show you so I'm going to VMX device to add um, said eight interfaces will be for this heavy node and the request and the question is we have to connect gigabit one to gigabit two like a loop interface let's do it I'm adding a network again it will be a loop cable uh, cable for example loop cable I'm saying save so you can see loop cable appeared here and I'm going to connect and look at this uh, zero zero one will be connected zero zero two the loop cable is connected you can see this yeah so loop is done here so it was request and very very strange one but I saw somewhere in Juniper topologies that such exist um, what else in my scratchings let me check grip one node uplink that was juniper hub bridge many nodes to one i shown I in case i shown how it looks serial interfaces you saw how to connect nodes i saw how to connect cloud okay uh, cloud we are adding a 
cloud. The cloud will be at the network. You can you can do it from here at the network and under the bridge you will see the cloud zero, one, two, up to nine. So cloud zero it is like and before was named Pnet zero, Pnet one, Pnet two, and so on. So cloud zero it is a main interface. It is a main interface which is uh, your IP subnet, which is uh, management of your EVE machine. So uh, let me open up a VMware machine, for example, and we'll show you a little bit. So he here is my home. Yeah, it's an if you are going to edit settings and you can see the network adapter, the first network adapter always will be cloud zero. If we, if I need to add some network adapter, the, the another one, it doesn't matter which will be added. So you can as the net the second network adapter will be cloud number two. And up to ten inter up to ten network interfaces you can add add to the E. So Pnet zero, uh, so sorry, cloud zero, cloud one, cloud two, and so on, such way. Okay, okay. Um, startup configurations. Uh, startup configurations will be special video. Configured objects, we have nothing. This will be about how to design actually to draw uh, areas and so on it is drawing and designing on if this will be a special video as well the more actions start all notes i don't think so that i have to explain what is that stop all notes wipe all notes will be uh, will be explain it wipe actually wipe actually deleting can we run if you have running note and save it configuration let me start only two notes and going going to pause actually until starting ah i started two notes so i marked two notes yeah it's let me show you how it works and from the group console to selected notes and you can see that both consoles open it for these routers let's wait until they boot notice are booted and let's quickly configure something like hostname t host r1 okay and we are and the router 2 as well uh, enable conf t uh, host r2 okay and we are now these configurations are saved in nvram and once i will say you for the node r1 for example wipe this will wipe a configuration and my router r1 will start from scratch when i will start it okay so router 1 is started again but router 2 i will not saying to wipe but i'm saying just stop and i'm starting router 2 again and let's check what's the difference so booting so they are booted and you can see the r1 is prompting yes or no so nvram is wiped but r2 look at this r2 still has a configuration saved so that's that's how it wipe node works um what else more actions uh, console told all nodes or console to select it i shown you yes if you will press right now the console it will open only console which nodes are running um uh, export all configurations uh, this will be another video edit lab this is a screen when i started to edit my lab um uh, export export it is another video export export yeah startup and export will be absolutely another refresh topology yeah it's a something something seems to be not working or you cannot move for example but deselect I'm, I'm recommending to press escape on the keyboard so you see the notes are selected I'm pressing escape uh, refresh zoom cool if you have a very very big topology for example example and you can use zoom look at this zoom very cool feature uh, status status you can check what is the utilization of your cpu usage of memory and you can check how many nodes you're running uh chemo nodes or so on um lab details yeah you remember that i did some scratching so here is my task what i need to do it's any time you can call it out lab details and I check so add node and configure it two ways yeah it's um, uh, 
so we did it yeah it's a hub and bridge yeah it's a make, make a loop yeah it's a for here so these are my uh, tasks close lab you cannot close until your own nodes are running you have to stop and a lock lab is very cool feature as well it is when you will work later and i will show you how to make a huge and nice designs on an eve topology you can lock a lab you can see this highlighted in the red and now you cannot move any more nodes. I can select, but I cannot move. So it, it this feature will be very useful well, when you will have an object and areas and text and something like that. I configure it. Let me show you some some lab maybe uh, quickly. So uh, we have to stop the nodes. Okay, I'm going stop all nodes. So now when the nodes are stopped, you can you can a close lab. And let me check something security for miscellaneous complex lab and look at this lab, which is created with a design. Yeah, it's a design with an areas and adding a text and so on. You can you can see I can move a text or I can move the, some objects and now I'm locking the lab and now you can't move anything anymore. But you can still select the nodes and start and manage them. This is a very cool feature. Yeah, so lock lab is very good. So it was very shortly, but as I told you later videos, I will show you yeah, it's in deep how to use a pictures. Pictures are custom loaded pictures, which will be so like logical topologies for you. Um, so the shapes, shapes and uh, text are in on present screen here. And I will show you as well in a separate video. Uh, the more actions, the all about the configuration exports and then how to use them. This will be another special video. I think it was informative for you. And thank you very much for viewing.